Okay, so now I uh, remote to my friend laptop by any desk. Okay, so here we go. Uh, now connecting to his laptop and this is uh, his firewall for the get uh, 200E as you see. And uh, actually we have uh, communicate with each other uh, by WhatsApp for a while and he trying to uh, ask some help from me and uh, before I can help him I need to know what what he want uh, what he want to do with his firewall so like this in order uh, we can uh, uh, configure our firewall correctly uh, actually I already tell him that uh, I'm not uh, an expert of uh, 40 gate firewall and I just uh, uh, have some experience with my uh, with my work and uh, my uh, practice lab in GNS3 so uh, he said uh, that's okay uh, we can try together to work it out for his issue so okay now uh, he just uh, uh, he just go around with his firewall and now I'm in control and I try to find uh, the the interface actually uh, what he want to do based on my understanding what I get the information from him he want to sell the internet he want to provide the internet to his client he has three client and uh, also he want to provide the internet through his 40 get firewall and give the public IP address to his client with the uh, limit speed for each client as well so this is what I am uh, understanding from his information that he gave me and now we uh, take a look into the firewall together what we have to do uh, what we have tried and uh, this is uh, I'm trying to find uh, looking to the policy firewall policy uh, looking for the IP address yes uh, actually like I said uh, <laughs> we don't know too how 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 to do that before so uh, I asked I asked my uh, college and uh, I asked uh, my uh, uh, some of my friend and my my older friend he he have more experience uh, with with a firewall uh, and uh, Cisco so uh, and uh, he he work as a Cisco instructor so uh, I get some idea from him and uh, I follow what what he have told me and uh, I test with with uh, my friend here so this is uh, what we are trying to do so let's see together and uh, I will tell you the point that uh, what is the exactly point that uh, we can give the IP address to to uh, the client, uh, the the public IP address to client, and uh, uh, another thing is uh, we can limit the speed for our client. Okay. So. Okay. Here. 
some of the firewall rule that uh, he have at his uh, company and uh, I try to find the firewall uh, for for the client that he want to provide the internet speed for his client now I'm checking back the interface for the client we use the VLAN we have uh, created a uh, three VLAN under port three port three yeah and uh, we assign IP address to that uh, interface VLAN and uh, that IP is the gateway of the client so uh, we give the second IP to our client and this is the first IP we use as a gateway in our firewall So here I'm trying to check the and uh, validate the IP address and uh, try to go through the firewall policy for that uh, uh, interface VLAN for the client. Here I try to look into the look into the for the get for the get log uh, all the traffic from uh, local land to to van. Okay, yes, uh, like I said uh, before, we use a uh, notepad to communicate with each other, but uh, it is difficult for us, so that's why we, we just uh, use Google Translate instead. Here, here um, I, I write in English. After that, we need to go to Google Translate. Before I think he is uh, Russian, but uh, when I asked him uh, where he from, what is his country, he said that not Russian, uh, actually uh, uh, another country somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere around the world, uh, I not remember his country. 
but the, the language similar to Russian, I think. But anyway, even though we we have a difficulty to understand each other, but uh, we try our best to solve this problem to fix uh, the problem. And uh, yes, uh, we after we understand each other, after I I I understand what he want to do, and he let me. Uh, go through his firewall and configure for him. Okay, so now go back to the firewall. He said uh, his client can access to internet and here uh we configure the policy for limit the speed for the client uh, he want to limit the uh, 20 megabit for his client for the download and upload speed so for the download and upload speed uh, in for the get firewall we use a uh, traffic sapper yes traffic separate for for the bandwidth limit and uh, we use uh, we use that 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 option the uh, per ip for the uh, upload and download speed is uh, equal okay so here we try to create for his client <laughs> after that we apply the policy okay we apply the traffic sapper policy okay I, here I want to go back and verify again the name of his client and okay go to the policy for for the bandwidth limit you just uh, tap in your your name whatever name that you want to put uh, here in in this case I put uh, his client name with the with the 20 20 may for for let us know later that his client is get uh, only 20 megabit internet speed So here we check the client IP address. Make sure it is the correct IP address. If if uh, if you tap in the wrong IP address, so uh, the client not uh, take effect for the bandwidth limit. So that's why we need to verify for uh, this step. So here I need to create the IP address for the specific of his client to make sure it is the right one. Actually, uh, uh, this is uh, this video I I asked him. Uh, I asked I asked him before I upload to YouTube and he said yes I can upload but uh, I need to 
to uh, redact or omit the 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 IP address so that's why you cannot see his IP address uh, okay so the source is the client IP address or we can say uh, the client network and destination we choose all and here the most important thing is here uh, uh, we want we want to allow the client go out through uh, when one so that's why we select the when one and uh, here the rule for the upload and download speed that we want to limit the equal uh, speed equal uh, bandwidth we choose the third option uh, and this is uh, my internet connection is uh, very slow so it get some uh, disconnect and uh, reconnect okay now we done for the uh, bandwidth limit firewall policy and uh, here I go back to the Google Translate and I want him to test with his client for the uh, internet speed with the speed test and make sure it, it uh, not higher than uh, 20 megabit per second. Okay, here, here, here the result that that uh, he sent me through WhatsApp. Uh, he said uh, now the 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 client get get a uh, get a limit of the speed. For the speed, okay, we can limit for the client. And uh, one more thing about the public IP address that we want to provide the client with the correct public IP address. And here the question he asked me. He based on my understanding, uh, he he want to ask me that. Uh, the client get the IP address with the speed test. It show the the IP of the firewall. It means that that IP is the gateway for the client. So uh, this is the wrong IP address. It should show the client IP address, not the firewall IP address that we provide. So. Here I go back to the firewall firewall policy and then uh, we take a look at the firewall rule for his client. We try to find the firewall, firewall rule for his client. And this is the firewall rule for his client. And uh, we check again, and we disable the the NAT function in order to provide the correct IP address to the client. So, okay, this time uh, 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 I let him test again. Make sure it is uh, the correct IP and. Uh, the speed also limit uh, 20 megabit as well
Here I try to open my WhatsApp through web browser. Before I I look in my phone, but uh, here I open through my web browser. So uh, I want to show I want to show that uh, we 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 chat through WhatsApp as well, uh, and we use Google Translate to understand each other. Here the result that he said the 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 speed test for client is okay and the IP address is um, correct as well. And this is the question that uh, he asked me uh, if uh, everything okay he can uh, uh, he can connect to for his client at the uh, at the client place and I want to verify with him that uh, he get the right IP address and he he sent me through WhatsApp the, the result everything is uh, correct the speed and the IP address he, he sent me through WhatsApp so okay Here, I try to ping test again the IP address. Normally, we can ping public IP address, but for this IP, we cannot ping. Okay, this is the result that he sent me through WhatsApp that he get the correct IP address. And then for the firewall, we need to to uh, apply the firewall rule one more uh, for the outgoing from the firewall and incoming from the firewall. It means that from the client through the firewall, go to the internet and from the outside internet through the WAN of the firewall to the client two direction it means that we allow both direction in and out for the client and we disable the net so remember this point and you will uh, provide the correct IP address to the client and your client can can uh, configure at his side with the, his router or another uh, firewall or some device like uh, you can connect direct with the laptop as well so this is the point that uh, I want to share to all of you about the, the public IP address that you want to provide to the client if if you are the 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 internet provider or if you are the uh, if you are uh, do doing this kind of business selling the internet for the client uh, in his uh, in his uh, uh, no in in your in your company
yeah here the 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 firewall that the the firewall policy that uh, that I said okay so we get uh, we have two firewall policy for that client and I forget to enable <laughs> I go back to enable it and then we get everything the firewall policy the firewall rule for bandwidth limit so uh, that's all for the point that uh, he want to do and this is uh, if we go back to the Google Translate and I uh, ask him to check again to uh, to confirm that uh, everything is correct so uh, he can he can uh, provide the internet to his client through his firewall with the public IP address to his client. Okay, I think uh, this is the end of uh, my video. Thank you everyone for watching my video and uh, please subscribe to uh, my channel and I see you with the next video.